Okay, so this is my um, sliding table saw. It's a, a Hammond sliding table saw, a Trimo saw it's called. It was used originally in the printing industry to, print, to cut small tin type, lead type, and uh, wooden blocks for printing. Um, and uh, it's useful for making small parts for musical instruments as well. Um, since it's a sliding table, it's uh, easy to make repeatable cuts. It uh, does, You don't get tired working on it. It's got a couple cool features, namely this work holder can clamp your work against the fence. The fence um, adjusts and uh, um, really easily and it adjusts to a printer's measurement. Um, and then it's got this flip over stop. And so we're going to be using the saw in its trim mode, which means I'm going to be trimming pieces off. And as we trim them off, they're going to fall down this chute and uh, get captured in the box at the bottom. Um, so I have a whole bunch of strips of oak here. I'm making these little um, tags for inside my ukuleles. So I'll set the first um, set the first bunch against the fence. Clamp this on here, and we'll we'll get going. So I really like using this machine lately because it feels really safe. It's got a guard on it. This work holder means I can clamp the work and get my hands out of the way. And uh, in the trim mode, it's nice to have everything go down there because I don't have to use my hand to clean off the pieces as they're cut. Sometimes when I do have to clean the pieces off, if I'm not using it in trim mode, I'll use a pencil with a big eraser to grab the piece with an eraser and move it. Um, now here's the last little feature that's super fun. Here's the base of it. Um, down here is where sawdust gets captured or the pieces we trim out. And check this out. Pull the handle, open it up, there's our pieces, and it's on wheels. So we can push this over to wherever we want to go in the shop. It's a real handy saw.